Now, as a pioneer of New Zealand's fitness industry, our next guest now focuses on health issues affecting women as they approach menopause. Wendy Sweet joins us in the Harvey Norman Lounge. Good morning to you. Lorena, good morning. Lovely to have you in the studio. Thank so, you. So you were one of the first group fitness instructors and the first personal trainer in New Zealand. Yes, I had the privilege in the early 1990s of uh, holding that, that mantle, and it was just a fabulous time in the fitness industry in the 90s where there was a lot of um, effort going into uh, moving more women into the fitness environment. Mm -hmm. So uh, I set up personal training in New Zealand and I think more importantly was that I pioneered a lot of the personal training education throughout the next 15, 20 years and uh, and certainly that's that's been able to um, give me some, some really um, fantastic uh, knowledge and, and expertise and experience um, with my doctoral studies around women's healthy ageing and how we've aged mm -hmm. in terms of our exercise and fitness. Well let's talk about that. Um, what mm -hmm. happens with women as they transition into menopause in relation to exercise? Well in terms of the peri perimenopause is the time before menopause. And that can start it, any age it, can't it, it really? It, it, well from there's new research that's come out of the World Health Organisation that it actually starts earlier than we think. It, it starts in our early 40s and and from 45 right through to 55 is our menopause transition. And of course that is our biological ageing. Mm -hmm. And um, and we're, the, we're very unique. And I say we, as a collective woman in their 50s, we're the first to come through the exercise and fitness industries, and I say exercise and sport, because throughout the 1980s and 1990s yep. was that whole emphasis on fitness, on exercise, on running yes. and, and triathlons, and that whole movement uh, towards what we understood as how to stay healthy. Mm. But for a lot of women, it was their way to, to cope. Um, in such a changing environment for them, yeah. you know, whereby they were um, in careers and, um, you know, endorsing all the, or trying to, to manage the, the body ideals that were coming through the fitness industry um, and also a lot of the ways of training and ways of keeping fit mm. that now we can see were designed for men, not well, women. What do they need to do as they approach midlife? Well, there's three phases of a woman's life where she needs to adjust her lifestyle. And uh, I've got hundreds of women on, on programs whereby I say to them, there's th our biological emphasis is on reproduction and so menopause is the end of those reproduction phases. So mm -hmm. just like puberty pregnancy, menopause is that stage. So you kind of need to back off what you're doing around high intensity activity, right. especially because women can't sleep. You know, the sleeping connection with menopause is really, really powerful. But because women still think that they need to lose weight or they're putting on a little bit of weight or they've, they've got those endorphins that they really, really yeah. love, they don't know how to back off and, and do something a little bit different. So exercise, as you're going through that transition, needs to be, I call it healing, not harming. Right. And high intensity exercise. So lower the intensity a bit. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. And do different things as well. Try um, a bit of Pilates and yoga in there well, as well. Well, those help as mm. well. Thank you so much for joining you're us today. You're very welcome. Come.